The movie opens on the 6th of June, 1966, and it is exactly 6 a.m. in Rome. We see an American diplomat, Robert Thorns, rushing to a local hospital where his wife Kathy is delivering a baby. Unfortunately, when he gets there, the doctor gives him the distressing news that his baby was stillborn. This leaves him devastated, and he worries about how he will explain it to his wife. At this moment, a priest named Father Spiletto suggests that he adopt a newborn boy whose mother has died today. He claims that it will be a win-win situation for everyone, knowing that his wife will be crushed by her child's death. Robert readily agrees. He's hesitant at first, but then he thinks, ah, oh, what the hell, what's a little baby swap on a Saturday night? He then takes the baby and leaves him in his wife's arms. They look at him affectionately and name him Damien. Cut to a few years later, Robert has just received a promotion. I've been appointed the ambassador to Great Britain, he says. She doesn't know what that means, and it sounds lame as hell, but he's smiling, so it must be good news. So she squeals and hugs him, and the family moves to London. When they get there, he shows her the new digs. You know, you could be too sexy for the White House he says, exhibiting a level of steez that I didn't know existed in the 70s. Later on, the family is walking by the river. The two grown-ass adults are thirsting so hard for each other that they forget they have a son for a moment. Robert doesn't give a shit, since he knows the kid's a fake, but Kathy thinks he's drowned, so they're scared. But, oh, there he is, little demon spawn bastard. Some time passes, and we see them celebrating Damien's fifth birthday. Everyone is excited and having a good time. <laughs> cries the boy, which is a weird sentence. Suddenly, his nanny stares at a huge black dog and seems to be hypnotized. She then goes to the rooftop and tells Damien she loves him before committing the unthinkable. Everyone is horrified by the sight, except Damien, who looks at the dog and smiles. We then see a photographer named Keith who is taking pictures of this tragic incident. The following day, Robert is in his office when he is approached by a priest named Father Brennan. The priest insists that he must immediately accept Christ as his savior and repent. Hearing this, Robert becomes confused and doesn't understand what he wants. Father Brennan asserts that he was present on the day Damien was born and he has seen his real mother. However, Robert believes he is here to blackmail him, so he calls security and escorts him away. As Father Brennan heads outside, Keith shows up and takes his picture. That evening, when he develops the pictures, he is shocked to see a dark, spear-like object over the priest head. In the next scene, a new nanny named Mrs. Baylock arrives at Robert's house. After a brief introduction, she claims she wants to meet Damien alone and proceeds to his room. Robert and Kathy are impressed with her. Kathy asks where Robert found the nanny, to which he replies, 666-69.com. But he's just joking. He didn't find her, but neither of them did, so where'd she come from? They immediately approach her and ask how she got there. Mrs. Baylock replies that an agency saw news of their former nanny's death and sent her. The couple is satisfied with the response and doesn't question her further. She then goes to meet Damien and says that she has come here to protect him. The little boy doesn't say anything in response, but lets out a wicked little grin. A few days later, the family gets ready for church, and Kathy decides to take Damien there for the first time. Mrs. Baylock feels he's too young to understand God's teachings and shouldn't go. However, this only irritates Kathy, and she orders her to dress the kid. Later, while the family heads to church, Damien acts in an unusual manner. He appears to be very anxious, almost as if he's scared of something. When they reach the entrance gate, he suddenly becomes violent. Kathy tries to calm him down, but he starts pulling her hair. As a result, Robert quickly drives away from the church, prompting the boy to revert to his normal state. I don't blame the kid. Church is boring as balls. That evening, the couple discusses the incident, and Robert suggests that they should take their son to the doctor. He feels strange because Damien has never been sick in his life but Kathy believes there's nothing strange about him, and he's a healthy boy, which is a good thing. Later, Robert walks to Damien's room, but he comes across the large black dog outside the door. Just then, Mrs. Baylock shows up and claims that the dog is here to keep guard. She also asserts that Damien loves him. However, this only annoys Robert, and he orders her to find another shelter for the dog. The following day, Kathy takes Damien to a nearby zoo. She wants him to enjoy the view and learn about nature. They view some giraffes, but giraffes know a stone-cold mo- 
people when they see one, and it's just one of those days, so they bail. Later, they get inside their car and go to watch some baboons. Everything appears to be normal at first, and the mother-son duo has a wonderful time. But minutes later, the baboons get angry for some reason and surround the car. They start attacking it ferociously, prompting Damien to scream. They swarm the car, their dastardly scrotums hanging nefariously in mom's face. As a result, Kathy steps on the gas and drives away. That evening, she shares the traumatic incident with her husband. She asks him to arrange for her to see a psychiatrist, as she believes she is losing her mind. The next day, Robert is watching a rugby match when Father Brennan approaches him again. He claims that his wife's life is in danger and that he needs to talk to him. He then gives Robert an address and asks him to come tomorrow if he wants to save his wife. While Father Brennan is leaving, we see Keith again, who takes his pictures. Later, when he develops these photos, he again notices the black object above him. How did he get those close-ups? We all know his lens wasn't long enough. The next day, Robert meets with Father Brennan, and the two engage in conversation. The latter gets straight to the point and states that Damien is the devil's son. He also claims that Kathy is pregnant, but Damien will not allow the child to be born. According to Brennan, the boy will soon kill her, and when he inherits their wealth, he will kill Robert as well. To prevent this, he asks Robert to travel to Megiddo and meet a man named Bugenhagen. <laughs> as he is the only person who knows how to stop the devil child. However, Robert thinks that the father is crazy and warns him never to bother him again. Afterward, as Father Brennan is leaving for home, a heavy rainstorm ensues. He tries to enter a church for shelter, but the doors are closed. Suddenly, a lightning bolt hits the church's spire, which then falls and pierces his heart. As soon as the father passes away, the storm stops and the weather goes back to normal. The next day, Kathy is in her living room and she is annoyed by Damien making noises, so she orders Mrs. Baylock to take him away. This seems to upset the boy, and he looks at her furiously before leaving. Later, Kathy approaches Robert and informs him that she is pregnant. However, she is already fed up with Damien and has decided to abort the new child. This shocks Robert, because Father Brennan had already informed him about the pregnancy. Moments later, he receives a call from a stranger who asks him to check the newspaper. When he does, he reads the news of Father Brennan death, leaving him in utter shock. In the next scene, Robert speaks with Kathy's psychiatrist, who informs him that she is not doing well. She often claims that her son is a devil, and also has daydreams of Damien hurting her. So, given the circumstances, the psychiatrist believes it is not the right time for her to have another baby. However, Robert refuses to abort the child, as he wants to prove Father Brennan's prediction wrong. Meanwhile, Kathy is working at home, while Damien is playing on his tricycle. Something suddenly takes over him, and he crashes into her, causing her to eat crap right over the banister. In the following scene, Robert arrives at the hospital, where the doctor informs him that his wife has survived but lost her baby. This terrifies him, as he realizes that Father Brennan's prophecy is coming true. When Robert tries to talk to his wife, she repeatedly says that she doesn't want to be killed by Damien. That evening, Robert gets a call from Keith, who claims to have important information about Father Brennan. Later, when they meet, Keith shows him pictures from Damien's birthday, where they see a dark object above the nanny. He also shows pictures of Father Brennan, where there is a similar object. After this, Keith displays the autopsy photos of Father Brennan, where they notice the number 666 on his body, which is the devil's number. To find more answers, they head to Brennan's house, where they discover a strange collection of crosses and Bible sheets. They also find his diary, which only contains information and details regarding Robert's life. In the diary, they find that Damien's birth time is linked to the number 666, since he was born on the sixth hour of the sixth day of the sixth month. Hearing this, Robert gets very upset and blames himself for adopting Damien and bringing him into his life. He says that it is his problem and that he will deal with it himself. However, Keith claims that it is his problem as well. He then displays his own picture, where there's the same dark object over him. Following this, the duo begins their investigation and travels to the hospital in Rome, where Damien was born. Unfortunately, they find out that the hospital was ruined in a mysterious fire five years earlier, and all birth records were destroyed. Robert then asks a nun about Father Spiletto, the person who gave him the baby. The nun shares that he is the only survivor of the fire 
incident and now resides in a monastery. After that, they take the address and proceed to meet Father Spoleto. When they arrive, they discover that he is paralyzed and that half of his body has been severely burned. The other priest informs them that he has gone mute since the fire incident. Regardless, Robert approaches him and demands to know about Damien's real mother. Father Spoleto doesn't say anything until a bell rings, after which he writes only one word, survey. The other priest explains that survey is an old graveyard in a place called Etruscan. Robert and Keith immediately head to the said graveyard to unravel the mystery. There, they discover the grave of a woman named Maria, whose death date aligns with Damien's birth date. When they open the tomb, they discover that it contains the remains of a female jackal, which proves that Damien is not a human child. Alongside it, there is another grave. When they open this tomb, they find the skeleton of an infant whose skull has been crushed. Seeing this, it finally dawns on Robert that his real son was murdered so that Damien could be adopted. Just then, they are surrounded and attacked by several huge black dogs. The duo is badly injured by the hounds, but they somehow manage to escape. Upon reaching the hotel, Robert immediately calls Kathy and asks her to come to Rome. She is hesitant because she is still recovering in the hospital. However, he claims that it is not safe for her to be there, so she agrees to come. After hanging up, Kathy gets up and starts to change her clothes, but suddenly, she senses someone behind her. As she turns around, she notices Miss is Baylock staring and smiling at her. Moments later, Kathy is thrown out of the hospital window, leading to her death. In the next scene, Robert receives the distressing news of his wife's death. This shatters him, but he is now hell-bent on stopping the devil child. He then remembers that a few days ago, Father Brennan had talked about a man named Bugenhagen who can supposedly stop Damien, so he decides to pay him a visit. The next day, they travel to Megiddo and meet Bugenhagen as they engage in conversation conversation. The latter informs Robert that he has been waiting for him. However, before they talk, he sends Keith outside, saying he wants to speak to Robert alone. Afterward, our good old boy Bogenhagen gives him some sacred daggers, stating that only with these can he kill the devil's child. Robert is still unsure whether the boy is the devil, so Bogenhagen claims that the kid must have a 666 birthmark somewhere. When Robert claims that he has never seen such a mark on Damien's body, because he figured it would be sus to look look at a naked boy that wasn't really his. Bugenhagen suggests it might be on his head, hidden by hair. After the meeting ends, Keith inquires about what happened inside. Robert explains that Bugenhagen wants him to kill Damien as he's the devil's child. However, he refuses to do it, since it goes against his nature. He even throws away the daggers to make his point. This leads to an argument, and Keith eventually decides to carry out the murder himself. However, as he tries to retrieve the daggers, a sheet of glass suddenly falls from a truck and decapitates him. That's what happens when you try to steal Bugenhagen's booty. Horrified, Robert finally realizes that he has to murder the child once and for all, so he retrieves the daggers and returns to England. Upon reaching the house, he spots the black dog again, so he successfully traps him in the basement and locks the door. He then grabs a pair of scissors and goes to Damien's room. To confirm his doubts, he begins cutting the boy's hair and eventually discovers the number 666, which horrifies him. But before he can do anything, Mrs. Baylock enters the room and begins attacking him. The two get into an intense fight and fall down the stairs. Despite the fall, both survive and continue their fight until Robert manages to kill her using the dagger. After this, he picks up Damien and takes him to his car. The boy begins screaming and Robert drives at a rapid pace, which soon draws the attention of the police. Shortly after, Robert arrives at the church while being pursued by many police cars. He rushes inside with a screaming Damien and drags him to the altar. The boy pleads and begs to be released, and for a moment, Robert hesitates. However, he soon gathers himself and proceeds to stab the kid. Unfortunately, at this moment, the cops arrive and shoot him to death. In the final scene, we see the double funeral of Kathy and Robert. Meanwhile, Damien is seen with Robert's brother, who is the President of the United States. <laughs> I did, where'd that come from? The movie comes to an end as Damien looks directly at the camera, breaking the fourth wall as only the devil can and flashes his sinister smile. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.